Peter Sidwell, welcome to Simply Good Food TV's Test Kitchen. So this is a series where we create recipes, we test them, and they support our website, simplygoodfoodtv.com, where we house all our recipes and we find the best recipes we can from all over the web, bring them all to one place, and then we kind of support it with videos and things like that. So we are feeling a little bit Irish today, so we're inspired by St. Patrick's Day coming, so we thought we'd create like a porter cake, like a fruit cake, um, and create it with something really different. Delicious. So here goes. I've got a pan on at the moment. Now I've got some mixed dried fruit here, okay, and that's going to go in the pan with some California prunes. Now I work with California prunes to create delicious recipes that are packed full of flavour but are added with these beautiful prunes and they just give a real sense they're full of fibre, they're full of goodness and nutrition and I think where can I get them into recipes to make them taste delicious so that's why they're here today so I'm just gonna chop them up and then we get the added benefit of all the nutritional value of these delicious prunes and if I'm honest I'm always nibbling them so mixed fruit prunes straight into our bowl that's preheated and then in with our lovely Guinness. So we've got about half a can here, okay. There we go, half a can. I wonder what I'll do with the rest of that. Okay, so in we go. So I want, I've got my brown sugar, so check the recipe for how much. I want three quarters of my sugar in there and I'm gonna keep the remainder for whisking up with the eggs. Right, I've got some delicious butter here. So this is South Downs butter, and it is delicious, I promise you. I want 200 grams of this. I'm gonna save the other 25 grams there to spread on the cake, because I love butter on my fruit cake. Love it. So, let's just chop the butter up. That'll just mean it melts down a bit quicker, that's all. If you don't want to use butter, use margarine. Um, that's up to you really. So butter in. Now I've got my spice drops, I've got some nutmeg which I'm going to add in which is just lovely and it's a really lovely clean pure spice extract. And then I've got some preserved orange. Now I've preserved this myself and all I've done is squeeze out the orange juice and then I've chopped up the peel and then boiled it in sugar and um, water until it's tender. And we use that for our baking all the time and it is delicious. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of that. If you haven't got your own, get some orange peel and just boil it up in a little bit of water and sugar and you'll have the same thing really. Okay, so let's give that a stir. So we've got our dried fruits, we've got prune, California prunes in there, we've got dried mixed fruit, we've got some lovely orange peel, we've got butter and two thirds to three quarters of the sugar. And I'm just gonna bring that up to the boil. So while we're doing that, okay, we are going to whisk up our eggs. Now, I'm trying out some of this new equipment today. So we've got our trillion scales and then our bowl. So I am going to add in my sugar. And then I've got four medium eggs. There we go. Right, and then I'm gonna whisk these up until they're really, really light and fluffy. And the idea with this cake is to make three different textures. So we've got our fruit that we're boiling up in, in lovely Guinness. We've got our eggs and, and remaining sugar we're gonna whisk up for aeration. And then I've got some plain flour here as well. Um, and it, eventually we get to a point where we just bring all three bowls together and that makes our cake. So I'm just gonna whisk these up. Okay, right, so we've got lots of air into those. If you want, use your machine, really whisk it up for about two or three minutes. Make sure the sugar's kind of dissolved and it's all being aerated and pale and fluffy. Okay, so, right, let's get our flour. Let's weigh that out. 
So it's important that you get all those measurements weighed out properly. Yep, perfect. So, I've got my flour weighed out. I've got my egg mixture whisked up and ready. And then we've got our fruit cooking away. Now, I'm gonna turn the heat down because you, you want to bring up to the boil, but you don't want to boil it and boil it because you'll change the recipe by the volume of liquid because it'll evaporate. So now we've got really lovely flavor in there, okay? So, final little bit of oomph for this recipe. We're gonna add some bicarbonate of soda and that will react with the acidity that's in the pan, okay? So it'll start to fizz up. So we're gonna add in our bicarb now Give it a stir and then watch what happens. You see how it all fizzes up? So that, I'm just gonna leave that now, turn the heat off, because you don't wanna add it red hot. Give it two or three minutes and then we will fold all three pans and bowls together to create our cake. So my dried fruit has just sort of sat, it's bubbled up and it fizzed from the bicarbonate of soda. It's now just had about five minutes to cool down, okay? So now the key is to get these ingredients together in with that, okay? And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to add the egg mixture first, okay? So just pour it in and I'm going to use this sort of rubber spatula to make sure that I get every little bit because we all know baking, it's about that. It's about measuring, you can't just bung it all in and hope for the best. You do have to measure it. Okay, so we're just gonna carefully start to incorporate that. So this is about really gently working around the bowl and then we're gonna add the flour in. Now, what I don't wanna do is add the flour in and mix it. If you over mix it, it'll tighten the cake up, okay? So just add it all in, okay? And then just start to mix nice and slowly, okay? Don't overwork it. So fold all three ingredients together, okay? And eventually, as you start to stir it nice and gently, if you have a look there, it starts to come together. It feels like you've got three different ingredients in the bowl and they don't want to mix. But eventually, it all starts to come together. There you go, you see? And it's quite a loose sort of wet mixture. That's okay, don't panic. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so that is kind of how you want it to be. If I show you that, that is the texture you're looking for. That kind of drop off the spoon consistency. So we've got my ceramic bakeware tin here. It's kind of like, a, I don't know, 15 centimeter square. And then we're just gonna pour it in, okay? And then just scrape every last little bit in. There we go. Give it a little shake, a little tap, and then that's going into the oven 160 degrees. I'm just going to drop that down. And it's probably going to take about 40 to 45 minutes. It takes a good while to cook this one. But once it's firm to the touch, so bring it out of the oven, press it, and if it springs straight back, or use a cake skewer, if it's clean when it comes out, then it's ready. Leave it to rest, okay? You don't want to eat this cake warm. You want to leave it to rest, and then I like to butter it, because I'm from Yorkshire and we put butter on everything.